a tale of two realities. In a distant and magical land named Azura, there lived a young man named Eric. He had a shiny motorbike that he loved to ride on the winding roads. One sunny day, while Eric was riding his motorbike, he encountered a slippery patch of wet leaves. His bike skidded, and Eric tumbled onto the road. It hurt a lot, and everything turned blurry before his eyes. When Eric opened his eyes again, he found himself in a strange place. Bright white lights illuminated the room, and machines softly beeped around him. He felt confused and didn't recognize where he was. There were people with friendly faces standing nearby. They told Eric that he was in a hospital because of the motorbike accident. They assured him that he would be alright and just needed some time to heal. A gentle doctor approached Eric and spoke slowly, explaining what had happened. She said his injuries weren't too serious and that he needed to rest. Eric felt a mixture of worry and thankfulness. The hospital was new to him, and he didn't fully understand how he had ended up there. He lay in the hospital bed, his thoughts a whirlwind of questions about his motorbike and his family. As the day turned into night, exhaustion washed over Eric, and he fell into a deep sleep. In his dreams, something extraordinary happened. He opened his eyes and found himself in a completely different world. He was surrounded by a lush jungle, filled with vibrant green leaves and mysterious animal sounds. Eric looked down at himself and saw that he was dressed like a warrior from a very long time ago. In this dream world, Eric wasn't Eric anymore, he was Torin, a brave warrior from ancient times. Torin found himself running through the dense jungle, a sense of urgency pushing him forward. He felt a mixture of fear and excitement as he realized that enemy warriors were chasing him. Torin's heart raced, and his feet pounded on the ground as he ran. As the night deepened, something peculiar began to occur. The boundaries between Torin's world and Eric's world started to blur. It was as if they were coming together like two rivers merging into one. Torin's jungle world and the hospital room where Eric really was seemed to overlap. Eric's head felt muddled, like pieces of a puzzle that didn't quite fit. At times, Eric would wake up in the hospital room, but he still felt like he was Torin, the ancient warrior. Other times, he would find himself running through the jungle as Torin, yet his thoughts would be a mixture of Torin's experiences and Eric's memories. It was baffling, and Eric couldn't make sense of it all. Days turned into nights, and Eric's body slowly improved. The hospital staff were pleased with his progress, unaware of the dual lives he was leading. The dream world of Torin and the real world of Eric were intertwined in a way that was both confusing and fascinating. One night, a significant moment arrived in Torin's dream. He was in a fierce battle, surrounded by enemies. The clash of swords and shouts echoed in his ears. And then, suddenly, the dream shifted, and Eric found himself back in the hospital room, gazing at the ceiling. Eric understood that the dream was fading away, that he was returning to his true reality. He felt an odd mixture of emotions, relief to be back in the hospital where he was healing, yet a sense of loss for the adventurous life of Torin. It was like saying goodbye to a close friend. As Eric fully woke up, he experienced a flood of feelings. He was grateful to be in the hospital, where he was on the mend. Yet, he also felt a pang of sadness that the world of Torin was slipping away. It was as though he was leaving a part of himself behind. In the following days, Eric's strength improved further. He could move around more and talk to the hospital staff. He knew he was fortunate to be surrounded by caring people. Eric pondered the two lives he had been leading. There was his life as Torin, the brave warrior in the ancient jungle, and then there was his life as Eric, the young man who loved his motorbike and the scenic roads of Azura. Though Torin's world was thrilling, Eric realized that his real life was just as meaningful. He wanted to remember both parts of himself and everything he had learned. Eric felt like he had two hearts, one that beat for the past and one that beat for the present. He knew that both were essential to who he was. When Eric was finally ready to leave the hospital, he felt a mix of emotions. He was eager to return to his regular life, 
to ride his beloved motorbike and reunite with his family. But he also carried with him the memories of Torin's adventures. It was a unique chapter of his life, one that he would treasure. And so, with gratitude in his heart for both his real life as Eric and his dream life as Torin, he stepped out into the world of Azura. The road stretched before him, full of twists and turns, much like his journey through two different worlds. As he rode his motorbike, he understood that the past and the present were both a part of him, guiding him on his journey through the enchanting land of Azura. Vocabulary Motorbike 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 Hospital 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 Boundaries 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 Sword 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 Flood 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 Staff 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 Roads 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 <laughs>